But he said, um, I have united you guys. You have been united already with your spouse. Doesn't look like it. It doesn't feel like it. But God has already united you guys. And soon he will reunite you guys. But he has separated you guys. There has been a separation because God had to work in you. God bless my brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Linda and welcome back to my channel. Those who are new to my channel, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so um, I've been sharing some words that kind of aligns to what I'm gonna speak uh, on this video. And I'm going to put the link on um, the end of the video where I share my testimony, how the Lord revealed to me my, my husband and how he led me to my uh, ordained spouse. And um, so, yeah, so it just shares a little bit of my story. And this um, word, this prophetic word will make a lot of sense. Um, so just to kind of give you a little backstory, the Lord revealed to me who my husband is um and i saw the person we became friends but there was a separation um we were not we stopped talking multiple times we um there has been a separation and there were moments of doubts when i didn't believe like i had unbelief because it just a lot of the things i was seeing was not what god said to me right and it wasn't like I saw this man and was like, oh, that's the man I want over there, you know, like, you know, it's all good. No. It was the Lord literally giving me a dream and revealing to me who my husband is. And throughout the process, um, a lot of it didn't make sense. I cried a lot. I suffered. I weeped. I grieved. I had a lot of sorrow in my heart. I, it was hard. There were moments when I cried so bad, so much that my eyes were puffy. And it was because a lot of the things, you know, that allow him to, how to treat me, um, things he said about, um, uh, that I heard wrong, you know, because I made the mistake of telling him. Big mistake. He wasn't mature yet to understand the dreams and revelations, but I didn't know. I was excited. I wanted to tell the whole world. I wanted to tell it to the news. But, um, but yeah, so when I told him he wasn't fully mature to understand what God was showing me, I didn't even realize or understand the things that God was showing me. I honestly thought it was the enemy, but God confirmed that the dreams and visions are coming from the Lord. And I started to learn a lot of, um, when God speaks to me, when he doesn't learn when a dream is from God and when a dream is not from God. So I remember the lot, um, he basically told me, that he was not gonna call me no more. He was not gonna talk to me no more. He was not gonna call me no more. And he basically told me not to call him anymore. And I was like, when I hung up the phone, I was so hurt, so devastated. I cried, but I told God that I was tired of crying. I told God I am tired of crying. That I couldn't bear or take this pain anymore and this rejection. Um, it was hard to believe that this person was my husband due to the facts that I was seeing the opposite, how he treated me, how he rejected me, how he didn't value me. So I enter a fast, uh, the Daniel's fast for 21 days. And so one of my petitions was, I was telling God, I need clarity, I need confirmation. You probably given me confirmation, but I need more clarity because I don't understand and I don't want to understand with my own wisdom or th with my own knowledge because the Lord did rebuke me one time and said stop adding to my word which I released a word on that um, if you want to go check it out where I titled don't add to my words so God rebuked me because I was adding on to his words and God's like I did not speak that I did not say that stop adding on to my word so I wanted to make sure and get clarity from God because I'm like, God, he literally just said that I heard wrong. He literally just 
said not to call me anymore and that he was not going to call me anymore how he didn't want to be one on one it's just it was very hurtful and so in my fast I did it for 21 days on the last day God spoke to me and this is what he said to me now um, he said which I write in my this is this is a different journal. <laughs> this is a um, a journal where I write all my words that the Lord gives to me. Any words, prophetic words. So as you see, this was. Let me see if you can see. You see, yeah, November, November twentieth, two thousand twenty-one. This is what the Lord said to me. Um, do I just give up or never find out? Or do I keep going and endure and wait to see what the what God has said f has for me? It was necessary, and that's the th some of the things I have said God in my prayer. So when this lady that I don't know came up to me, started praying for me, I don't know who she was. She came up to me, and those are the exact same things I told God: that do I just give up and never find out, or do I keep going and endure and wait to see if what God has for me? It was necessary. God said, I had to work in you. I know it hurts, but it had to be done. Keep keep um, saying to me, keep on. Basically, God kept saying, keep saying to me, God, keep going. Keep on. Keep working on me. Look what your process had produced because I have changed a lot. I have grown so much. I have become such a beautiful woman inside and out where I, I've learned to value myself. I learned how to love myself. I've, I've grown so much and the Lord had healed so much trauma and, and and a lot of things in my heart he said um you had to go through it God said you have to go through it because I want to use you in a major way um you have to know what pain feels like so you can help others I'm I have already united you guys soon I will bring you guys back there has been a separation but I have already united you guys even if it doesn't look like it or feel like it i'm working on him and and you separately when you have a baby you hold it close because it's a blessing look around and, and appreciate the moments you have left because things are about to change you're going to look back and see and thank me for what i'm about what i'm about to do you're not alone and you will never be alone be patient and be content I have been your helper, your provider. Those who put their back towards me, I will never, I mean, th those who don't put their back towards me, I will never put to shame. I have anointed you. Soon things are going to change. I had to work on you first. It is written. Remember, it is written. Guys, 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 guys. So this word is for those who know their kingdom spouse, who know there are men to enter into a prophetic kingdom marriage. If you do not know, um, I pray that you um, ask the Lord to confirm to you if are you meant to um, uh, for sorry <laughs> um, are you meant to enter into a prophetic marriage? And so take this word up to God and ask the Lord to confirm to you. But this word is specifically for those who know their kingdom spouse, who know that God has spoken to them and He revealed to you that you are going to enter into a prophetic marriage. So God is basically saying, um, you had to go through it. You had to. Yeah, it sucks, but it was necessary, God said. So the Lord is saying to you, you know, you had to know what pain feels like so you can help others. God wants to use you in a major way. How can God use you to uplift someone in the world that is hurting, that's going through suffering when you don't know nothing about suffering? So we have to endure suffering as well as believers in Christ. But he said, um, I have united you guys. You have been united already with your spouse doesn't look like it it doesn't feel like it but god has already united you guys and soon he will reunite you guys but he has separated you guys there has been a separation because god had to work in you and him excuse me my braces god had to work in you and him separately the separation was necessary but i need someone to believe and know that God has already united you two. That's it. It may not feel like it. 
It may not look like it, but if God said it, he did. God separated you guys and there's been a silence. He didn't reach out to you and you're asking, why is he ignoring me? Why is he rejecting me? Because the Lord is working in him. He's also working in you, but he has to do it separately. This is really great news and brings a lot of clarity to our process and situations because I know there's many of us that's asking God, why me? Like, I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Like, why am I going through this? There's other women and men, like, they meet their spouse and they get married. Like, why am I going through this? This is so hurtful. This is so painful. But God is telling you right now that um, when you hold the baby when you have a baby you hold it in your arms because it is a blessing and this this is what you're about to do god is going to bring you guys together soon and you're going to hold that baby in your arms like a blessing and you're going to be like wow it's finally here and you're going to forget the anguish you're going to forget the pain and the sorrow once you hold that baby in your hands you you're going to forget all the pain and sorrow and anguish that you had to go through praise the lord hallelujah god is saying to you appreciate your moments you have left basically appreciate your singleness what's around you um, appreciate your kids your friends your church the time that you have alone because things are about to change for you you're gonna look back and thank God you're gonna look back and tell and, and say wow and start thanking God for the things he about to do. And I want you to know that you're not alone and you will never be alone. Be content in your moment. Be content for what you have right now. You may not have your promise, but we need to have a contentful heart. Remember the Lord has been your helper. Remember the Lord has been your provider. And God says that when you turn your eyes on God, when you don't turn your back on God, but you keep your eyes on God, he will never put you to shame. And soon things are going to change, soon. Things are going to change. And uh, I want to leave this scripture where it says Matthew 19, 6. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. God has joined you guys spiritually. In the spirit, he already united you guys. Joined you guys. It may not look like it. It may not feel like it because he don't call you. He doesn't. But the dreams and visions that you have, it's like, it's like you guys are married and you see dreams of you guys being together and visions of you guys doing ministry together. It's because God has joined you guys already. And when God spoke to me, and this was November 20th, 2021, this was last year. It literally brought clarity to my situation. Don't focus on that he doesn't call, she doesn't call. Don't focus about, oh, he don't reach out to me. Don't focus on that. Focus on your preparation. Focus on the things that God needs you to do. Be content. Be content for today. Be content with what you have. You may not have everything, but be content with the little that you do have. Be happy, be grateful. Things are about to change. Enjoy what you have left of it. Enjoy what you have left of it. You know, lately I've been, and you know, when God said to me in 2021 of November that it was things that were going to change, that He was going to join us together. This hap This was in November 2021. That's what I'm saying. God's time is not like our time. One day, I think it's like a thousand years for God. So we just have to be patient. He says soon, it's gonna be soon. It may not be our soon. Our soon is tomorrow or next month, you know. But soon can be a year, too. It could be less than a year. It just all depends on God's timing. And so my sisters and brothers, I hope that this word encourage you to believe and know that to, to just rest and have that peace of God that he have joined you with your husband. He has joined you with your wife. Say, I'm already joined. That's my man. That's my woman. But for me, so I'm looking, that is my man, okay? Mm -hmm. My husband. <laughs> Even though he don't call me. Why he don't call me? Even though he don't reach out to me, he's been such a meanie. 
um, I know that God joined us and I forgive him for everything he said and done it was necessary all of it guys sisters brothers forgive your partner forgive your kingdom spouse for what he said and what he did you know the hurt that he had caused you he may have called you crazy <laughs> hearing things but you forgive you know and you let it go and God has to heal your heart first I remember God saying to me he's not gonna bring him until I truly forgive him and so I had to allow God to help me forgive him and heal and forgive him for everything he's done. The Lord told me one day, forget what you know about him. Forget about the past. Forget about what he said, because I'm going to bring a new person. I'm going to bring you a new person that you're not even going to recognize. You're not going to recognize this person. He's going to be brand new. I'm giving him to you new. Transform, change, broken, you know, in a sense of the Lord had to do some um, do some forming, taking some things out. So just know that in the silence and the separation, the Lord is working. You may not see it physically. I may not see it physically, but we live in the spirit. The 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 Bible says the just might live by faith. We must, we must walk and live by faith. So just knowing that God is working behind the scenes. He is my brothers and sisters. What a great word, right? I'm, I had to share this word today because it aligns with the other words I've shared on my uh, YouTube channel. I'm going to put the link at uh, the end of the video. But I pray that this brings clarity to you. And I hope that this encourages you and uplifts you. And to know things are about to change soon. And God has already joined you guys together. And soon he will bring you back together so you guys can get married. See, he joined you guys together, but you have been separated. But soon you will guys reunite and get married. I can't wait to testify and I can't wait to hear your, your testimonies. I'm so excited because I'm going to be like, I told you. I told you guys spoke. I can't wait, like, to be honest with you, to throw in some people's faces, like my family, my friends. What I said, mm, I told you, be like, mm. I told you. I just, I think that's like the best part about it. God forgive me. But I just feel like, I told you God spoke. I told you my Lord speaks to me. I wasn't crazy. I didn't hear things. I just, I can't wait for that moment where God lifts up my head. And I'm like, oh, you know. So, so yes. It's not being petty. <laughs> it's just like this joy. Like, just like I told you God spoke. And I know that a lot of people that have doubted, I remember to close up, God said to me, all those who mocked you, who made fun of you, they're going, they're going to see what I, and basically God purposely allowed this to happen because God wants them to be witnesses. So everybody that doubted you, that made fun of you, how friends you have lost or family that's like, this girl's crazy, they're going to come and have to witness what God just did. They're going to be witness to the glory of God. They're going to be witness that when God speaks, he performs. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, thank you for watching this video. God bless. They encourage my sisters and brothers and have a good day.